Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in this video, I would like to talk about a powerful feature on Samsung Galaxy Note 9 that I have come to love and use quite often. This is a software feature and it pertains to security and it is called the secure folder. Basically, it is a private environment that is locked down with a password or your fingerprint or your irises inside which you can store private photos, documents, videos, files, and more away from prying eyes. If you're not already using it, you're gonna love it. So let's dive in and take a look at what I'm talking about. And of course, if you do use Instagram or Twitter, make sure to follow me on both at Saki Tech Online. And of course, if you're wondering which case I'm using for my Samsung Galaxy Note 9, see the link in the description box down below. All right, so the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna actually go and set up the secure folder if you have not already done so. So there's two ways to access secure folder to get it rolling. The first way is if you go into your app drawer, and if you tap on Samsung, it's gonna say secure folder. You can just tap on that and it's gonna start the process. Uh, the other way is if you go to the settings, and if you go to biometrics and security, uh, at the bottom here, you're gonna see secure folder. So whether you tap this or you tap this, you're gonna start the process to set up the secure folder. So let's do that together. Let me just tap on secure folder. And as you can see, you get the introductory screen. And from here, it's saying protect your data and it's giving you a description. Uh, let's just click next for a minute. And with secure folder, it is telling you that you can make secure copies of your mm -hmm. actual applications. So let's click start. And the first thing you wanna do is you want to actually sign in to your Samsung account. So in my case, all it wants me to do is confirm it. So confirm that. And then uh, they want you to pick a pin number, a password or a pattern lock for your secure folder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a pin, uh, and also you have the option to enable fingerprints and irises to unlock your secure folder. So basically you're gonna have three options. You can use one of these password styles, and then you can have fingerprints and irises. Now one thing with the pin number or the password is you don't have to use the same pin number you use to unlock your smartphone uh, for the secure folder you can pick an entirely different pin number just for the secure folder. So let's do that right now. Uh, let me just pick something simple for demonstration. There we go, and click OK. So we are uh, creating the secure folder right now. Samsung is setting it up. Takes a couple seconds here, and then we're gonna be in business. Okay, so the process is complete, and it dropped us into the secure folder folder. So let me show you what this looks like. Let me just exit this. I'm gonna show you how to go right inside it again. Mm -hmm. um, so what you wanna do is you wanna go back into the app drawer. You're gonna tap on Samsung and you wanna go into the secure folder. Mm -hmm. Now when I tapped secure folder, uh, as you can see, it did not ask me for a password. So I do want you guys to set that up for maximum security right away. Uh, so go to the settings of the secure folder and then over here, it says auto lock secure folder. You tap on this and make sure you choose immediately, okay? I wanna make sure everything is in fact secure. Now when I exit the secure folder, and if I try to go back inside it, it's gonna ask me for the pin number immediately and that is the security that you want. So tap 0000, click OK, and now we are in the secure folder. Now what I'm gonna show you guys is how to transfer photos, videos, notes, and stuff like that into the secure folder so they get locked down. All right, so let me go and launch the gallery from the regular phone. I'm out of the secure folder. So everything I do outside of the secure folder is public, okay? So everybody can see it. So let's go inside, uh, tap on gallery, and here's a couple photos that I wanna hide. So let's say that I wanna hide the photos here uh, with the keys. All you do is select that photo, and then once you enable the secure folder, uh, when you tap this icon, at the bottom it's gonna say, uh, move to secure folder. So when you click that, it's gonna take that photo, it's gonna send it to the secure folder after you put your password in. So let me put the password in that I set up for secure folder, click okay, and it's saying moving items to secure folder and that photo is gone. So anybody, uh, when anytime somebody comes in and launches a gallery from the regular phone, from the public area, uh, it's not gonna show that picture. So that picture now actually hides in the gallery application under the secured folder. 
So to access it, I'm going to go up here, go back into Samsung and tap on the secure folder. Of course, it's going to ask me for a password. That's the whole point. You put the password in, click OK, and then you go to the gallery and boom, the pictures are sitting right over here. Uh, you can click uh, allow on this one. So this, these are the pictures that I, I hid and people are unable to see them. If you exit the secure folder, go to the gallery, you're not going to see it here. You have to go to the secure folder, uh, tap on this guy, put your password in, and then you'll see that photo. Now, what if I want to put that photo back uh, outside into the non-secure area? Again, all I do is select the picture inside the secure folder. Okay, so I, I click this, right click, and I can actually say move out of secure folder. So you can uh, move things into the secure folder or out of secure folder, uh, no problem. Now, one more ama amazing thing with the secure folder is that everything that you do inside the secure folder stays in the secure folder. So uh, if I tap on uh, the secure folder, go right inside it, and if I launch the camera from the secure folder right now and take a photo, uh, let me just cancel that for a minute, take a photo, it's going to take the photo, okay? But what's going to happen is because I launched the camera application from within secure folder, whatever photos it takes are going to save into the secure gallery right here. So this photo is not available in the public area, but because I use the camera in the secure folder, it saves the picture directly into the secured gallery, which is very smart. I'm going to show you one more thing. I'm going to go into my Samsung notes. I'm going to show you how to secure actual notes. So if you go to your Samsung notes from the public area, now, as you can see, I have a bunch of uh, notes over here. I got one, two, three, four. These are all public. So if I know the regular pin number to unlock the phone, I can access these. Uh, but if I go into the secure folder, these are not going to be there because these are public uh, files. So if I go to Samsung Notes, it's empty. What I can do is I can create a note inside the secure folder that's going to be secure away from the prying eyes. This is secure, okay? So let's, on the title, just put invisible, invisible, click save. Now, if you look over here, we have one note uh, within the Samsung Notes under the secure folder that says invisible. If I exit, and if I go to the regular Samsung Notes, uh, it's not going to be here, of course, because it has been secured. Okay, so I'm assuming by, by now you get the point uh, very precisely. So let's go back here just to verify. Go to Samsung Notes. Boom, you've got the invisible note right in here. Now, the same thing can be done with the calendar, contacts, email, camera, internet, and Samsung Notes, of course, and of course, My Files. Now, this is important, so I'm going to show it to you really quick. Uh, if you go into the my files there's nothing here it's completely empty this is the secure version of the my file my files uh, the non-secure version is again here in this samsung folder or if you can't find it just search it right here at the search phone option uh, but if you go to the my files here uh, all your files are going to be here okay so uh, if i go into my audio and if i want to secure any one of these photos let's say go, go to the this music here just an example if I want to secure this track, I can press and hold. I can go over here and I can say move to secure folder. So this music is going to disappear and it's going to go directly into the secure folder. And then I can access that file from the my files inside the secure folder, which is absolutely fantastic. All right, by now you get the point of the secure folder. So let me go back in there. I'm going to show you a couple other things that are very important. Uh, let's go in. Uh, we're going to look at these options here, but before that, you can add more applications. You can tap this button to just lock the secure folder automatically. Uh, so when you go back in, you have to put your password in. So you can, you can add more apps, basically can create secure copies of apps that will dump, get dumped right here. So anytime you do anything on those apps, everything that you do stays inside here. So if you add your text messages application uh, over here, you can text anybody that you want under the secure folder and nobody's going to see that under the regular text over here when they tap on this one. And of course, you can add files from here directly if you so desire using any one of these options here, my files, images, videos, audio, documents, whatever. And you can also edit the applications, meaning you can delete or uninstall applications from the actual secure folder. Now, here's one thing that I like to do. When you have a name like the secure folder, everybody's gonna wanna tap on it and go inside it. So what I do is, 
I go into the settings. Well, go to the customize icon. You can pick any icon that you want. So something that doesn't look very suspicious like this one. It has a key on it. So you can pick this, you can pick this, you can pick this, whatever, right? And what you can do is you can change the name of the secure folder. I put it something like finance. So finance by default means security. So if somebody taps on finance, they're not going to even uh, bother putting a password in because they know it's about money and they just walk away. But if, I, if it says secure folder or secret files, then somebody's going to want to tap. It. But when I click apply, the name of the folder changes. So if I go here, go to the Samsung, it says finance, and it's got a pig icon right on top of it. Okay, so tap on this one. It's the same exact thing, just a different look. So make sure that you customize uh, the icon for the secure folder and, of course, the name. Okay, let me just say secret files for now and then pick this icon just so I don't get confused here. And that's one thing. Other things you can do, go to the settings. Uh, make sure you pick a lock type. And this is very important. Make sure this is set to immediately. So the moment you tap the home button or exit the secure folder, it gets locked down. Uh, other things you can do is you can actually set to receive notifications from your secure folder apps if you so desire right here. And then what else we have here is uh, it says show secure folder. I can actually hide this. Okay, so hide it. Now it's not going to even be shown. So that's uh, maximum security, but then you might forget where the damn thing is. So what you want to do if this happens is you can always go to the settings. Okay. You can go over to biometrics and security, and then you can actually uh, find the secure folder right here. You tap on it, put the password in. It's going to take you into the settings and just say show secure folder. Now, if you go back there, it's going to be back in business. Actually, when you go back in here, it may not be here, but it will be in your app drawer somewhere uh, right here, secret files. Okay, so let me put that in. Go back into the settings and then you have the apps you want to put in here. You have the accounts. You can do a backup and restore to your Samsung Cloud if you so desire. So you can actually back up your secured folder to Samsung Cloud if you feel comfortable. Okay, that's an option you have. And then later you can restore it to another phone that you purchased. Of course, it has to be a Samsung phone. And of course, there's a bunch of other options here that you can play with. Uh, but then always come here and make sure secure folder is up to date. As you can see, it says the latest version is already installed. And that's basically everything that you guys need to know about the secure folder. Uh, it's a fantastic application. Uh, the great thing with this one is because it is built into the Samsung's system, it's never going to be uninstalled. Uh, with other security apps, when you download them from the App Store, they give you password protection. Uh, but when somebody uninstalls that app, that protection disappears. With this one, you can never uninstall the secure folder. So it is a fully secured environment. It's absolutely fantastic. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, just drop them down below and somebody or myself will answer them. So that brings us to the end of this video. And again, if you're wondering what case I'm using for my Samsung Galaxy Note 9, the links will be down below. Well, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Saki Tech Online, for which links are in the description below. Have a fantastic day.